we're going to take a look at the logon and application launch process from web interface in a Zenapp 6 environment. The diagram you're looking at shows you an XYZ corporation that has three locations, one in Miami, one in London, and one in Sydney. The Zenapp 6 farm has two zones, the US-UK zone and the AU zone. The US-UK zone consists of Miami and London, and the AU zone only consists of Sydney. Each has Microsoft Office applications installed on all three locations. They want to have a policy for users, so when that there isn't a Microsoft Office application server in their local office, they will be redirected to the next closest location. They decide to do this using worker groups. They create three worker groups, Miami, London and Sydney and set the worker group preference policy for users in each location. For a US based user, the worker group preference policy is as follows. Miami has a priority of one being the highest, London a priority of two and Sydney the lowest priority of three. Let's see how this worker group preference policy works for a US based user. First a user launches the web browser and types in the URL. They then connect to web interface. Web interface in turn returns a logon page on which the user types their credentials. The user's credentials are forwarded from XML then to IMA in the form of either HTTP or HTTPS. The IMA then forwards it to the local security authority service and the local security authority service encrypts these credentials passing them along to the domain controller. The domain controller returns the user SIDs and a list of group SIDs back to the local security authority service and back to IMA. IMA uses the SIDs to search the local host cache on the server for a list of applications and the worker group preference policy for this particular authenticated user. The list of applications together with the user's worker group preference policy are all returned to the web interface. Web interface then uses its Java objects to generate a web page that contains the application list or application set for the user. The user's worker group preference policy is then cached into memory on web interface. Web interface returns the web page to the browser, thus completing the application enumeration process. Next, the user selects a particular application from the returned application set. In this case, we'll use the example of Microsoft Word. The selected application data is passed back to Web Interface and Web Interface passes Microsoft Word and its information together with the user's worker group preference policy back to Web Interface, then along to IMA and on to the XML broker server. It then forwards to the IMA service on the zone data collector. This zone data collector tries to find out the least loaded server according to the worker group preference list. When it finds the least loaded server, it will send a query to the Citrix service manager of that server to verify whether or not the server has the requested application installed. If the answer is yes, it will then provide its server's host ID to the XML broker. The XML broker then translates this host ID into its IP address by searching the server's local host cache. The IP address is then provided to web interface, thus completing the application resolution portion of the communication. Web interface will then take this IP address and create an ICA file. The ICA file is returned to the web browser on the client machine. Next, the Citrix Online Web Plugin uses the information in that ICA file to launch an ICA connection to the least loaded Zenapp server. The Zenapp server launches the application and the user is free to interact with the application they requested.